Hello YouTube, it's your boy D giving you this week's episode. I love the Lock Up episode seven. Woo! Man, let me tell you y'all, it's a lot of woo, juicy, messy. Let's get into it. I ain't got time to waste. Let's get into it. Let's start with Brittany and Marcelino. Marcelino and Brittany, eh, it's like we still alive. I'm just, I'm just going to do this real quick. You know, they're having breakfast. And Brittany's going to excited to see her son or whatever. And Marcelino is like, I can't see you. I'm so scared. I won't see your son. I'm, I'm afraid I won't, be, I won't be a good father. And she's like, what do you mean you're not going to be a good father? And you find out that Marcelino's stepfather was a, you know, wasn't different, wasn't a good father, or figure, whatever. And Brittany's like, you know what? You're not your father. You're going to be better. Like, well, I was, my mother wasn't crap, but you know what? I ain't, I ain't, I'm better than my mama. And, he, and she still didn't tell Marceline about Amber. <laughs> she still, she didn't tell Marceline that nah, I seen her, see my ex. And she's, uh, wants to threesome some of the, she can bam bam with them. So, that's pretty much Marceline's still not. It's boring, it's getting to, I had to get that out of the way. Listen, get to Clint. Not Clint. I'm going to save Clint for last. I'm going to save Clint for last. Let's get to Matt and Caitlin. Matt and Caitlin. You know, Matt is in the little old lawn chair. He's joking the beer. <laughs> you know, he's so, you know, when I see that picture of him with his teeth, with his mouth, he's so holding his teeth. He just looks like a good redneck. He just got the redneck vibe. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me he don't look like a redneck, y'all. He looks like a redneck drinking his beer. So like, Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, today is a good day. It's love cock in the morning. He drinking beer. <laughs> Meanwhile, his mama, his mama, because he's staying with his mama and his girlfriend stay, because they both stay at their mom, at Matt's mom's house. And his mama is washing their clothes and he's kicking his underwear, which is looking like a thong. I was like, ooh, but, ooh. <laughs> washing coat washing the clothes folding the clothes probably cooking for them keen clean after them you know his mom is his mom is going like I can't you know I didn't sign up for this you know it's too much but I'm glad that you know he's he's at home with his ex with his girlfriend and it's going it's the longest I've ever seen I said Lord Jesus I said Lord Jesus it's the longest time he has been with his with his girlfriend. Oh Lord, you know. And then you know, and Matt's storyline is this: Hey, look, you know, I'm glad that I have two women that's came after me. I got my mama, I got my, my mama and and Caitlin. Cause in prison I had to you know I had to you know form my own clothes, and that's too much. Here I don't gotta do that, and that's what's up. Yeah, Matt, of course. You got women, you know, doing this, everything for him. Because rather than looking for a job, he's still there, you know, drinking his beer or whatever. Because Caitlin's like, come on, he used to look for a job. And I'm like, Caitlin, what kind of job you got? You're between jobs. Should you be on the internet? Should you be calling McDonald's right now talking about, can you get me a job? I heard McDonald's paying fifteen dollars an hour, so you might you, you could get yourself a nice job at McDonald's paying you fifteen dollars an hour. You could be the cashier. The next minute you can move you can move off to the fries. You know what? You can be a little supervisor, you know. You know? You could be you could be the nice supervisor. You one day you can own your franchise at McDonald's girl. But you gotta start somewhere, boo. See you too. You ain't got a job. That's why you're worrying so much what Matt's gonna do. Well, what's Matt gonna do? I, I need to do something. I need him to do something. I need to work. I need to be somebody. And I'm like, Clayton, Clayton, go. Clayton, Kate, go. Where you meet Matt? You act like you meet Matt in church. You act like you met Matt off the street. He's just a, he's been going to church all his life. He, was, he just got saved by the Lord. Baby, go. You think ain't what you. That's not the reality that you put in your mind, girl. You know what you meant, Matt? At a prison website. A prison website. Not a Christian Mingo website. Not BlackPlanet.com. You didn't mean it, Matt. Match, matchmaker.com. 
No, you've been at the prison website. He's in prison. <laughs> and then Ken's like, you know, we need to go to a date. You know, I need you, you need to take me to a date. I need to feel, feel like a human being. You know, you gotta take me somewhere. And I'm like, Caitlin, girl, what kind of money he has? <laughs> he had like Matt has some money stashed up from the drug game. And then money he had stashed up from the drug game went to, to meth. He saw what meth threw to his body. You know what I'm saying? He's meffed out. <laughs> Act like this man got a job. Man, he Anyway, so Matt eventually, you know, takes Clinton out. They go on a date because Matt had to get the money from his mama, aka a credit card. <laughs> and probably one of the platinum cards too. I hope it ain't no platinum cards. I hope it ain't no, you know, Chase Freedom cards and platinum cards because I know the, the interest got to be high. Whew, I lost she ain't paying no 14% or 20%. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> give me some. Ooh. You wanna give him give him a credit card? Shoot, you better better give him some cash or something, girl. Uh, you know what? Uh, a credit card? Ooh. But anyway, in the high hole. Even Matt was like, I wanna take out to to the dinner if I got no money. Even Matt, even Matt, the meth head, the crackhead, has more sense than Clinton. When the crackhead has more sense than you. Something's wrong, my dude. When a crackhead can make it, is has logic, then a rational person like Caitlin, something's wrong. But anyhow, anywho, anyway, they go. He goes in the Uber. They go in the Uber. And first, and this is one of the scenes I love too. Oh, I ain't talk about this thing. Oh, let's you know, Caitlin's like, yeah, open the door for me. So you got to train him to open the door. So he, he, you, ain't, you ain't got a man. You got a boy. You're going to train him up to be a man. Because he hasn't been a man. Because he's been in prison all his life. He, has, he don't know what to be a man. So you're going to train him to be a man. So basically, you are Matt's second mama. So he got two mamas. He ain't got one mama. He got two mamas. He got two mamas. He lived in life. He lived his best life. Ooh. He lived his best life right now. He in an Uber, got women take care of him, left him Mike. He got to work. Because that bet says he got one downtime. But how many downtime you got? You been in prison. You don't need more downtime. Downtime is what got you in trouble. Downtime is what you got you back in prison. Downtime made you do all this stupid stuff. Matt, taking meth and being reckless. No, that's what downtime did to you. You need to be active, my brother. Active. Downtime. You don't need downtime. And you too couldn't even get you. Together. <laughs> anyway, they went to this little restaurant or whatever. You know, it's a fancy rest. And Matt does what all of them do on the show, which I cannot stand. Why Matt do this? Because we TV, I'm looking at you, we TV. Matt goes, tells the witness, you know what? I, I, I just got out of prison. I just got out of prison. Tells everybody their business. Same thing, it would have been Michael, Matt. Everybody got to know. You know, man, Miss Adrian, you know what? I've just been out of prison. You know what? I've been out of prison. You know what? I've been out of prison. They didn't ask, people didn't ask any of these questions. They wasn't even interested. But as soon as the way soon as they heard that he'd been out of prison, his face was like this. They're like, it's like, ooh. And you know, you know, he be telling, he talking about, he, he probably went on Facebook. <laughs> went to his call, you know what? Man, you know that dude over there at that table? They watch that mother, that motherfucker. Been, um, he been in prison. Yeah, he, he, what he do? He robbed a bank. What? What he do? What he do? What he, what he do? He robbed a bank. Did he? Did he kill somebody? Did, did he? Did he? Murder somebody? What he do? I don't know. But he look kind of shady. Look at his teeth, yo. That, he look like he. He might go, look like he animal. Shoot. You know, I was doing the same thing. Talking <laughs> about somebody ate. You don't care this been bad it's going on. Oh Lord. I can't take this band nowhere. I say, Kate, yeah, Caitlin, that's what you chose. You chose him because after all, he's hot and you wanted the, you wanted the pain. You wanted some of this goodness. Now you done got the goodness. Now you woke up from the reality. From the dream. You woke up from the dream of getting this. And the reality is kicking you in the face, going, bow, 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 bow. 
That's the reality. Not giving you in the mouth. Then it. Then it. Then it. How any who anyway? They have the food or whatever, and the bill comes up to be a hundred thirty-three, hundred thirty-three dollars. Shoot, child. Mm. Shit, you you could have gone to McDonald's. Shoot, you could have went to uh, Wendy's. Damn, hundred thirty-three. Damn, you could have gone to Fridays. Friendly. Shoot, a hundred thirty-three. What you mean? <laughs> And man, I was like, I love this food more than prison. I show you do love this food more than prison. Yeah. yeah I show you do love the real food in here more than prison. Mm-hmm. That's why you need to get a... <laughs> job. <laughs> get a... <laughs> job. You too kick me. <laughs> get a... Job, job, <laughs> get a job, and and this oh we're not even yeah we're not done yet with with these with this couple right because Matt decides that when he got the bill rather than pay the bill he goes he wanna dine and dash what is dine and dash you may add he wants to. Leave, get a, eat a whole bunch of food without paying. He says, Kitten, come, get your food and go. Kitten's like, I'm going to go. And he grabs Kitten and, and he rushing to the rest of the room by looking at him. And then, as soon as he gets to the door, he goes, I'm just playing boo. That's going to pay for it. That's going to pay for it. Kitten's like, Kitten, that's not funny. I say, it's funny. Man, I say, it's funny. You know how I want I'm going to pay. You know how I want to just go to jail for no food. <laughs> what do wrong with me? got to pay for it. I'm like, oh, Lord. I said, man. You gonna go to jail, but Kevin, you picked them. You picked them all. For, you picked them though. Oh, you picked them. You picked them, girl. Yeah, you, you, you picked them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to you, girl. You, you picked them. God, he picked them. Anyway, anyhow, anywho, let's talk to uh, what's the next couple? Ah, oh, my the triangle, love triangle. You got. Sarah, Megan, and Michael. Anyway, Sarah and Michael is at the, at the wedding shop getting rings because, as you know, they're already married. And Michael is like, Sarah, it's $2,000. But you're saying you no know, object for me. Whatever you want, girl, I, I got it. Daddy got it. Whatever you want, Daddy got it. And I'm like, Michael, what kind of money you got? You ain't got a job? Well, what you be doing? You be selling drugs and have drug games on? Cause you, last time I checked, you a, a rapper, right? A local rapper. Ain't nobody checked your music out. You ain't on, on YouTube. You ain't on Facebook. You ain't on anything. What you doing, boy? Mm-hmm. And then of course Sarah, like Matt, and it's me TV. Cause I know you use me TV. Heck, I talk to the random, to random people talking about. You know, he just got out. He got just got out of prison. And the lady was like, oh, he got a prison. <laughs> we all did things. The only good thing that we didn't get caught in it. There was a good laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Because he's calling, Sarah's calling him. Sarah's calling, um, um mate. I mean, Megan's calling Michael because, but well, Michael has to have to cut his phone off because he's with Sarah. And Maggie's like, he's, he's, she's like, I hope I can meet him. I want to meet him. He's a, little, he's a good man. I got to meet him. I got to go to the young one. I'm going to go to the young one. I'm going to see him. We're going to hug. We're going to get married. And we're gonna, I'm going to give him some of this good kid cat. It's going to be all right. And I'm going to make it. No, he ain't going to be all right. You can play, boo. Join the club. You and Sarah are going to be buddies for life. Y'all better drink some wine. Better get some chocolates. Because you're like, you're getting played. Like a film. Played like on Tari. You can play like a Nintendo. <laughs> Played. He playing you guys well. But anyhow, anywho. Anyhow, anywho. Anyhow. He, he, you know, he tells. So she, you know, make decided to go to New York. Cause her daddy basically tells. Daddy, her daddy wants to do it. Wants to, 
her, her daughter get heartbroken because it's like he, that's the only way he, she gonna learn because she didn't learn the first time when <laughs> when she went to the airport and Michael canceled the, the flight that should be a warning but she didn't learn that one but she's gonna learn she's going back again so anyway he wants Michael wants to meet Sarah because he wants to meet Megan because Megan is the wife for him and he doesn't want to meet, doesn't deal with Sarah because Sarah doesn't complete him or whatever. Because, blah, 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 he wants to do it because the only reason he dealt with Sarah so he could be with his daughter, blah, blah, blah. The same retired story that you heard before. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> because he gets the, he, he wants to, see, he needs to see Megan, but the only way he can see it, he has to cause a little argument. So basically, he starts going to tell Sarah that we don't need no ring, the ring is fake, blah, blah, blah. This is what's going on, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then she's, Sarah falls for the okie dog and says, you know what? Forget you, dead. Because you know what happens? She gets mad. Forget you, dead. He goes, she forget you, dead. All I need her to just start snapping her fingers, you know, pull a turtle like this, get, you know, gotta be like, forget you, dead. Forget you, dead. <laughs> Anyhow, she, and meanwhile, the door is hit. They all get what well, child's in prison, which is crazy. And me and Tessa and Sarah says, I'm done with you. I'm, and Michael says, Give me the keys to the car. And he's like, He ran. He just drew the car. <laughs> and one of the ladies to say to Megan. And in the confession, says, he says, Sarah's selfish. I was like, <laughs> I said, Wow. And Sarah calls one of her friends and says, you know what? Maggie goes, it's a mofo. I'm a good woman. I'm a good woman. Why he, why he played me? I'm a good woman. I'm a good woman. Mm -hmm. So, and Mike is a dog. Mike is a dog. And, but apparently, this the lady, this girls, these women want to get the fleas. Anyway. Anyhow. And today, this episode was no Scott and no... No busy, but then we need them because this episode was on fire. Now we get to the main event. What do you think you may ask Clint and Tracy? Yeah. My man, <laughs> my man Clint is at the altar waiting for his boo for four hours. He waited for four hours. It got you know it's bad when even the pastor's going to him and say what's going on with your wife. So the pastor's probably like, look, I got, I got another service to go to. You're holding on my time. And I need the money because I need to get blessed with this money. You can hold on my time. And he's like, is she going to be there? She's just getting looking pretty. She's got to look pretty. That's what it is. Four hours is all right. You know, it takes, it takes one some time to look good. You don't understand. It takes four hours and stuff. And then Tracy shows up. And she looked like she just came from drinking. And she's, she wanted to look, like to look like a model. But life has... You know, worn her down, and she just, oh my god, drug and drug that. The man's like, that's my baby girl, that's my baby girl. So, anyway, they, they are really all married. They're married, right? They're married. If this is going to do well with young Clint's life, if this is going to be okay, but we got to the next scene where after the day after the honeymoon, Tracy's not here. And, and Clint's caught. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Clint. His mother called. What's going on, Clint? What's going on? Are you okay, Clint? I'm okay. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Mom was like, you're not okay. What's going on? I'm, I'm okay. I'm alright. I'm okay. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm okay. I'm alright. Oh my woman. Oh my God. It's not my fault, Mama. It's not my fault, Mama. My fault, Mama. Mom was like, what you mean? And he, he goes in the bathroom and he finally breaks down and says, the credit cards and Clint's like no don't do that smart credit she gonna come back to me 
I was like, man, Clint, if you know, oh my God, Clint's a new, this guy, oh my God. I said, I knew Clint's heart going to get broken, but Lord, he heart got broken, smashed, ooh, and he can't just leave his Clint, leave his, ooh, ooh, I feel for him, ooh, and that's pretty much the week, that was today, that was the last, last episode of Love after lockup. If you have not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to your right, comment my videos, like my videos. Anyway, this is your boy. Did I am out? Have a good night, y'all.